Okay, here's part two. And I'm sorry that my videos are long, but I'm, I kind of like to talk a lot while I'm doing this. Uh, I wanted to show you one more of those little gothic wings before we start on that bird wing. That bird wing won't take long because I really just have one way I do it. Okay, but um, bear with me while I straighten up this camera. Oops. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> that could be a vulture too, can't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let me sharpen my pencil here. Okay. Now, see here's where I was practicing earlier. That's that poison, like a poisonous barb like I was telling you about in that first video. It don't look like a vulture in this one. But I bet I could make it into one if I really wanted to. <laughs> okay. And you have to be careful. See this right here? You have to be careful when you're drawing that barb. Or even this one like this. Because if, if you put it right on top of that circle, it's going to look like an, one of those things out of that angry bird. So don't do that. Uh, we don't want it to look funky. Okay, so don't make it flat like that. Kind of curve it down like this. Okay? Like that. Anyway. Okay, I wanted to show you how to do this one real quick before I go on to the bird wing. I like it too. It's just very, very simple. Very, very basic. And the way I did that, it's just uh, make it a little bit sharper like the ocean wave this way. And then... Uh -oh, the camera started blurring there. Sorry. I don't know why I did that. But make a longer one like this. Okay, from this point, come to about right there. Okay, then, ooh, make a curve. See how simple that one is? That's like a vampire wing. Put some shadow in right there. But that was, that's just another basic one. And I like that one too because it's very simple, very basic. But what I always do, I always keep my stuff where I doodle and stuff like that because, uh, there I go with that phrase again. But I always keep my doodles uh, in a separate, I've got a filing cabinet full of doodles like this. And I, I look at them from time to time because you have to... You have to do stuff like this, you know, all the time. You know, if you're into fantasy art and stuff like that, and I am. I'm into the fantasy art. I, you know, we live in one of the most beautiful places in the world, but I don't like to draw mountains and beautiful lakes and beautiful outside scenes and stuff like that because I see that every single day of my life, and I guess we take it for granted. But I, I do occasionally, you know, paint stuff like that just to take a break from the fantasy art. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to the. Now, if you like your ain't your if you like your fairies to kind of have like a angel type wings, it's still that basic same shape. See, watch this. And I use a lot of paper, so I guess it's a good thing we have a Dollar Tree here. This is where I get this paper. This is not expensive paper. I use the cheapest paper I can get because this is just practice. Okay. Uh, now, if you like your fairies or angels, if you want to draw angels, uh, I'm trying to get this camera angle just right because I'm having to stick my hand through here so it can get it on here good. Um, I, whenever I draw... You know, angel type fairies, I like their wings to be long. So let's start with that basic shape like this and kind of round it. You know, round it like that. See how I did that? Okay, just go ahead. And you know, this is one of those things where if you kind of don't make that perfect either, it looks better. Okay. Now this is the shape I like this is just my preference you know those lines that we were doing before you know just like that 
almost kind of looks like it could you could also turn that into a dragon wing just you know sharpen it up but you know like for my feathers the real long feathers are the ones down at the bottom you know and you could just make a whole bunch of marks in there because you know why it's just practice and I do that all the time now see now up here you're going to have the medium sized ones up here you know they don't have to be perfect then the closer you get to the top of the wing the smaller they're going to be you know and I hate to say this but you can fake that you can fake it and what I mean by that sometimes you can just actually give the illusion that you're doing something and then I don't know what it is about our brain but it just that's a bird wing or an angel wing you know you don't have to draw every single one perfect like this is what I'm getting at you no know, because that's that's time consuming and it does I'm not gonna sit here and lie sometimes I have worked on a sketch for three days uh, and that's how come my videos are so long because it's real time it ta it actually takes me when I'm doing my fairies and stuff it actually takes me this long to do a real you know a wing well, maybe, maybe not quite this long, but it's just, I, I guess it's taking me so long because I like to talk while I'm doing this. And when I'm in here by myself, I don't, I don't talk to nobody, or at least I hope I don't. Okay, and so that is an angel wing. And I tell you what, um, if you want your fairy to look angelic, I would leave it white. But a lot of people like to put gothic like a raven's wing so you could take this same wing and color it shade it really dark and it could turn into from an angel wing you know to a gothic fairy wings and I like that too as a matter of fact I don't really do the gothic fairies and stuff like that but every now and then when I do I'm like ooh, well I kind of like that but I always try to put a little bit of wind comical in mine, I like to draw stuff that makes me feel good. But you could shade out. I, I feel lost without my ink pen. I'm gonna have to find it. But anyway, this I can't believe this video is already seven going on seven minutes. But so just practice. And in the next video, instead of going on to uh, putting the wings and stuff together for there's a couple of kids that I know who you know want me to try to show them how to draw a dragon so I'll probably do a dragon for the next video and then the video after that will I'll start showing you building blocks on how to put these together okay so just remember just practice fill up a sheet with uh, butterfly shapes and oh real quick I don't the only thing we have in this area we it's just not like we kind of live in the sticks and we can't just go out you know and buy a whole bunch of art supplies and stuff because we don't have anything like that here the only thing we have is a walmart um ooh, and that's really blurring out but this tracing paper it's really good and i have a lot of it but you know you could this is how I sometimes have to do my wings, and I'm just going to do this real quick. Then you can flip it over like this. Or another thing, I've got a light box. That's what I'm working on right here. But uh, that tracing paper, see it's so thin. See it just makes it, you can see through it, and so you could draw the mirror image of it. But if you don't, if you don't have that and can't get a hold of any I'll just use this one right here real quick now this is a dark pencil this is the darkest one I could find and I know they're darker ones like just plain B like 4B uh, darken it up like this Okay, and then so you can kind of see it through the paper a little bit 
and if you'll put it if you'll redraw what you went over that shows up just enough see it showed up just enough on this paper to where I could do that I do that all the time and you know what sometimes I've done see looky there Get all these other things out of the way. See? Uh, let's just draw a little butterfly in there real quick. Shapes, shapes. Woo, woo. Kind of looks like a dragonfly, but what I was getting at is to show you how to mirror image that. But, and sometimes also what I've done real quick, because this video is getting long too, um, Sometimes when I'm doing a bigger piece, see this is probably only about two inches long, and I know it's kind of hard to tell that on that camera. Um, sometimes when I have really got one that I really, really like like this, but I need it to be about a foot long, I will actually draw that on like a real long piece of paper and draw it on there and then cut it out like this and then when I'm ready to put it on my paper because you've already drawn it one time that ain't cheating so you can put it right here and then you can flip it over and it'll be exactly the same on the other side of the fairy once you've cut it out and kind of like use it as a template and I'm sure a lot of people do that and there's nothing wrong with that but anyway thanks for coming and I'll see y'all again in the next lesson